did see all of my squishmallows i i don't want to talk about it it's an obsession that i don't know how it happened but it did hey everyone welcome to my channel so i'm very excited for today's video because it's going to be a reading vlog for the inheritance games by jennifer lynn barnes i am so excited to read this book i am so excited to read this book it's basically like a kind of like a cinderella retelling with like knives out twists to it which <laughs> when i read that in the synopsis i literally immediately purchased it because knives out is one of my favorite movies of all time i've seen it like three or four times i love it so much so when i read that there was like a book inspired by knives out i was like I need it in my possession right now so yeah I am so excited and I just want to talk about the cover for a minute because it is so beautiful like the emerald green with the gold and then like the little like details of green like I just love this cover like I just think it's so stunning like can we appreciate this cover for a minute it's so beautiful but I am so excited to read this book and I, I I just don't want to put this off any longer because I've had this book for a few days already and I haven't been able to read it yet because I've been busy with like work and all of that and so I've been exhausted so I haven't been in the mood to read but I'm going to finally sit down and read this book. I can't wait. <laughs> it is currently 8.30 p.m. ish on Friday which is a bit of a late start. I wanted to start reading a little bit earlier but I was editing another video which is now now up on my channel so yeah it's a bit of a late start but better late than never because I just I want to read this book so badly that I want I was going to put off reading it until tomorrow so I could have like a full day of reading but I just can't wait any longer like I want to read this book so so badly so yeah this book isn't that long it's like less than 400 pages so i'll probably be able to finish this by like tomorrow night maybe so yeah i am very excited i don't want to make this intro any longer than it already is so yeah i'm going to start reading the inheritance games and i will update you every few pages whenever like something interesting happens i guess if you're curious about the stuffed animals that I have on my bed for whatever reason, a lot of them are Squishmallow. So I have Dumbo, I have a Halloween bat, I have a bee, a shark, and then I have the frog back there, which is my favorite one. <laughs> it is so cute. And then I have a little snowman that my boyfriend got me for Christmas. Then back here, I have this, like, I think it's a dragon. Then I have a butterfly, and then this is a reversible one, but I'm too lazy to reverse it, so the other side is a black cat. <laughs> and then I have this little dog here, and then I have this little cow stuffed animal that my boyfriend got me. Her name is Daisy, and I love her. And then I have another stuffed animal that my boyfriend got me. He got this one at Target, and it's a little sloth, and it is so cute. And then back here, I have this black pink heart pillow. And then over here, I just have a Minecraft pillow that I got at Five Below. So, yeah, if you wanted to know <laughs> all of the stuffed animals I had on my bed, there you go. <laughs> So I just found a typo in the book. Here it says he wasn't wearing a shirt and I'm assuming that's supposed to say he wasn't wearing a shirt but yeah I always like finding typos in books I just think it's so funny. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Oh my god. Wait. <laughs> okay so I took my hair out of the bun because it was starting to give me a headache and now my hair looks like this and I can't fix it <laughs> I don't know how to fix it so yeah ignoring that I'm on page 32 of this book I am so intrigued already <laughs> like I know I'm only like 32 pages in which is not that much but it's just so interesting because 
like I'm gonna be comparing this to Knives Out a lot because it is like marketed as like a YA Knives Out I guess so this is very similar to Knives Out in that there is an inheritance that one of the, that someone's going to be getting unexpectedly so I'm going to be giving a spoiler for Knives Out here so I'm going to put put text somewhere on the screen that's a spoiler so you can like scroll through to until the little text goes away so if you've seen Knives Out then you know that Marta who is Harlan's nurse is the one that end up, ends up getting the inheritance which makes everyone else in the family very upset <laughs> because they expected that they were going to be getting some of the inheritance because they were all family or whatever so yeah Marta ends up getting the entirety of everything that Harlan owns like his estate like I think he has like a, it's a wine company or a publishing company it's one of those and she gets all she gets literally everything that is under Harlan's name so everyone gets really mad about that so oh wait I need to adjust my hand sorry about that but um in this book instead of like a family member getting the inheritance it's a complete and total stranger as of right now like there's these two sisters their names are Abby not Abby Avery and Libby and they're the ones that are like approached really like secretively about this like Libby's been getting letters in the mail and she's like been ignoring them because she thought she would was thinking that there was spam so someone from this rich family they're called the Hawthorns so someone from the Hawthorne family goes to Avery's school and then like tells her about like there's like this inheritance under this guy's name like and like your name is on the will no one knows why so you need to come with us to the to the reading of the will so yeah they're literal strangers like this complete stranger her name is on this 40 what i'm looking at the back of the book 46.2 billion dollars is this man's net worth and this random girl is she's in like high school this random girl is on the will which is so interesting like it's not like it's like a family feud or anything it's like a literal complete stranger receiving like an inheritance from this rich ass family so i think that's very interesting and i'm very excited to see what ha what happens oh i can't I just hit my phone but um yeah i'm not that far in but i really like that the chapters are like super duper short like the chapters are less than like three whole pages like you'll just like flip the page like two or three times and then it's the next chapter so that's kind of nice because i like when the chapters are short because i feel like i can just fly through it so yeah that's my update as of right now so far i'm really enjoying it like this is so fun <laughs> <laughs> why am i surprised i literally knew that this was gonna happen i knew that she was gonna be getting everything but like what <laughs> how does he even know who she is okay wait i need to keep reading <laughs> okay wow this is this is so good already i'm on page i'm only on page 42 but i already know that this book is going is so good like so far it's just so interesting and just the whole premise is just it's so fun <laughs> like i'm having such a fun time reading this and i know that it's only been 42 pages i do have very high expectations for this book but this is so fun. So I was up until like 1 or 2 in the morning last night reading this book. I made it to page 109 or chapter 27. The chapters are like super duper short. They're like 2 or 3 like full pages each. So I was like flying through this but I was getting really tired. So I decided to stop for the night because if it wasn't for that I literally would have just kept reading because it just goes by so fast and it's just so like fun and exciting to read. So yeah, so far, what has happened? So Avery is the one that got the entire inheritance as we knew and suspected. And I was still, for some reason, very shocked when that happened. As if it's like not on the back of the book. But yeah, so that happened. And I just think that's something that's really interesting. Is like the whole dynamic that 
Avery has with the Hawthorne Sons. There's four of them. There's Xander, Jameson, Nash. What's, who's, what's the other one? Sam, Grayson. They're all very Caucasian names, but there's those four sons, and they all have such an interesting dynamic, I guess, because some of them, because one of them, Xander is very friendly with Avery, but he also is like, everyone's very wary of Avery, like no one really like likes her because she did come in here and steal, not steal, but she took what should be theirs, like the part of their inheritance. So they're all very upset about that. Then there's also Jameson, who's trying to like help Avery figure out why she's the one that's getting the entire inheritance. So Jameson gave Avery his letter from his grandfather and it's basically just like a bunch of like riddles kind of. So Jameson is trying to help Avery figure out what is going on and like why this random stranger seemingly is getting the entire family inheritance because there is kind of a bit of a romance not romance but like flirtation with Grayson and Jameson towards Avery like they're both very flirty to her Jameson more than Grayson I think like there's like a little bit of like flirtatious moments here and there but yeah, that's very interesting. And then now Avery had to enroll in a new school in in Texas. So she's enrolling in like the super fancy private school. And then this girl, Thea, walks up to her and like welcomes her to the school and takes her to like the principal's office, I guess. So like this is like where you're gonna see your classes and all that. So she's just like showing her around the school. And then she, at one point, Avery is going to have lunch and she sees Thea is there so Thea invites her over for lunch and then they start like gossiping and talking about the Hawthorne brothers and she says I need to find the exact quote because <laughs> she says let me see she says this one line that's like I used to study with Xander sometimes before and then she trailed off and Avery's like before what? Like, she's like, there's something missing here. And I, when I read that, I was like, what? And then she says, they aren't what you think they are. I wouldn't want to live in a house with the Hawthorns. And then she says, towards the end of the chapter, think what you want to about me, but the last girl at the school who got tangled up with the Hawthorne brothers, the last girl who spent hour after hour in that house, she died. <laughs> like, what? So, I don't know what's happening. I don't know. Is it gonna be like a murder mystery? Are they gonna kill Avery? Maybe? I don't know. I'm very intrigued to see what happens. Like, this is getting so good. Like, I'm enjoying this so much. I am really enjoying this. And it's just like a fun, it's just a fun read. Like, I'm having such a great time reading this. There's only like, there's less than 400 pages. And I might be able to finish it tonight. Or by tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see. But this so far is so good. So I will update again if something exciting happens. So I feel like I haven't updated you guys in a while. So I'm just going to give a little quick update. I am on chapter 52 or page 212. I have been flying through this. So I've read a little over 100 pages today, which <laughs> is a lot. So I'm making pretty good progress. And it's once again it is so good like it's getting so interesting like something that's happened is that Thea who is related to someone in the family there's, there's a lot of people in this family I don't know who's who but Thea for some reason is moving in to the Hawthorne house to Hawthorne house it's not the Hawthorne house <laughs> but she's moving into Hawthorne house and nobody really knows why so she's moving in they're currently having a family dinner and it's getting a little bit awkward and also avery talked to the press for the first time because libby's ex-boyfriend drake who is a piece of garbage she's been basically like stalking her and like annoying her and just being a menace to society so he decided to show up to the to hawthorne house even though they have a restraining order against him so he showed up to the house 
police were there it was a whole scene and Avery was trying to distract them from what's going on with Drake because she didn't want to bring any more attention to Libby and like her whole situation with Drake so she decided to talk to the press and say that say that she knows why Tobias Hawthorne chose her for the inheritance or whatever even though she doesn't even though she doesn't know why he chose her so the first time that she spoke to the press she was lying to them also Jameson when he was with Avery walking through the woods or whatever he wanted to play this game called two lies and a truth instead of two truths and a lie he wanted to do two lies and a truth because we don't play by other people's rules or whatever so they played that game and one of the things that he said I don't remember the other two but one of the things that he said was that he watched Emily die and we don't have any answers to that because they just basically moved on from that like like Avery didn't say oh that's the truth or that's the lie or whatever like they just completely moved on from that so I don't know what's going on with that so a lot just happened in the last like two chapters so basically Javery, <laughs> Jameson and Avery were in the woods after Jameson had run down all upset so Avery ran after him into the woods so they're just walking around now they're trying to find a clue about what's going on with everything so they're looking through all the trees in the woods trying to find like any carvings or anything and then they found a tree that had the carving Tobias Hawthorne the second on it which is Tobias Hawthorne's son who actually passed away 20 years ago in a fire so yeah after they discovered that that little carving was on the tree then they suddenly heard two like cracking sounds which ended up being gunshots so someone someone was firing at them but they actually missed and instead of hitting Jameson or Avery it hit the tree that was next to them so like the wood cracked and splintered and landed in Avery's chest so <laughs> that happened and then she they um Oren the security guard took them to the Wayback Cottage which is where the Laughlins live because he didn't trust anyone in the Hawthorne family because they're a little sketch so he didn't trust them to go back to the Hawthorns so he went to the Laughlin's house they patched up her chest and everything and then she was like kind of like shooken up so she went to the bathroom to like clean up a bit because she was like dirty with like mud and like blood and all that so she was looking in the bathroom mirror and just like like frozen in shock so then suddenly Jameson walks into the bathroom and then he starts like picking up the washcloth and starts like cleaning her up and he's like don't worry Iris I got you or whatever and I'm like oh my god <laughs> when that happened I was like wait <laughs> because he was being like so gentle with her and it was just such a sweet moment and then all of a sudden Avery decided to kiss him so they were kissing for a bit and then he says I always thought that you were special or something but then shortly after that he starts talking about like the puzzle and everything again when i read that she kissed jameson i was like wait because i've kind of been rooting for them they do have this like banter and like this flirtatious relationship which is like kind of cute so when she kissed him and he kissed her back and then after that he kissed her again i was like wait <laughs> so yeah, I was not expecting that to happen at all, but yeah, that was kind of cute. So yeah, I just wanted to update on that because I was not expecting that. Oh my god, okay. So I'm on page 344. I'm almost done with this book and a lot has happened to say the least. Like, <laughs> this is getting so wild like <laughs> I literally have no words for what's happening like this is just so fun and exciting like I said this a million times but wow <laughs> so after this like ball that they went to I guess Xander told Avery that he found another clue in the black woods 
So they went in a helicopter over the black woods and they saw that in the middle of the clearing there's like an outline of a number and the number was zero. And after they put all the pieces together because they had they had three let three numbers and they're just missing the last one which is zero. So they had one, one, eight, and zero, and they were trying to figure out different combinations of how those numbers work together, like if it was like a code or something, but it turned out being a, to be a date. And the date was October 18th, and it is the day that Emily died, and also the day that Avery was born. So, <laughs> yeah. This is, this is wild. Um, this is such a good book. I can't, I can't get over how good this book is. Like, <sighs> this is so good. And I feel like it's probably gonna end on a cliffhanger because there is a second book coming out in September called The Hawthorne Legacy. So if this ends on a cliffhanger, <sighs> I'm gonna be so annoyed because I don't wanna wait until September to see what happens. right now I was not expecting that whatsoever what so Nan had this locket that she gave to Avery so she could like look at it and she looked at the picture inside and she was like wait I know him and then she thought back and she was like I played chess with him in the park and everyone was like are you sure like and she was like yeah that's the guy that I played I play chess with in the park and then they're like no Tobias Hawthorne's been dead for 20 years so Tobias Hawthorne the second is not dead everyone thought that he died 20 years ago in the fire but he's alive and Avery knows him she played chess with him at the park like every single day she his name was Harry like she called him Harry that's actually Tobias Hawthorne the second. <laughs> and then Xander opened the letter, the second letter that he got from his grandfather, Tobias Hawthorne the first. <laughs> and then he like did like it was like invisible ink or whatever, so he like submerged it in like water, I guess. And the the letter at the sig signature at the bottom said, "Find Tobias Hawthorne the second. So did he know that his son was never dead? I'm so... I can't, my brain can't comprehend anything right now. I have no words for anything right now. Wow. That was such a good book. Oh my god, I am literally speechless. That was such a good book. I can't get over it. That was so fun and such a wild ride and there were so many like twists and turns and so many like plot twists and just like, wow. I need the second book literally right now because oh my god. Wow. I definitely recommend it like it's so good like it's just such a fun it's just a, such a fun wild ride on this like, like I have no other words to describe it other than it's just like a fun just a fun interesting book like I don't know I really enjoyed it so yeah I want to reread this book eventually I'll probably reread it before the second one comes out just to have like a refresher but um yeah this book was so so good I I 
literally have no words. My phone is actually running out of storage, so I need to speed this up. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this reading vlog of me reading The Inheritance Games. This was such a fun book to read. I really enjoyed it. I had a great time. So, yeah, I'm gonna wrap up this video here. So, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!